What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're going to be talking about a new Pirate Rumble Sugo Fest that's going to be making its way into the game starting on February 3rd 1900 PST time. Uh, obviously currently we have the current Pirate Rumble banner with King and that character is extremely strong unfortunately wasn't able to get my hands on that character. This time around instead of fighter characters being featured Psy characters are going to be featured with two new Pirate Rumble Rare Recruits debuting at the same time, which is not too common. That doesn't usually happen these days. So the fact that they're doing that is kind of bizarre. We did get a little bit of a preview that these characters were coming due to data miners, uh, and I was expecting one of them to be an arena character, a free-to-play unit, but that dream died very quickly uh, because we know that Arena Sasaki is about to leave the game so it would make sense if they introduced a new arena to replace him but they never ended up doing that so I'm a little bit pissed about that because you know obviously the free-to-play events are always really fun to have arenas are just really good content to uh, to make and unfortunately we're not gonna get that this time around we're gonna get two Rumble Rare Recruits instead and I do think that this banner overall, just looking at the characters that are pullable, it does seem pretty cool. You know, Rebecca Toy Soldier, Gaban, Enaru makes a return, Super Tandem Sengoku, while he's not everyone's favorite character, he's an interesting character nonetheless. And then the two new characters with um, Crocus, and then I believe it's Nozudon and Sunbell, we'll get through the names, but... These characters are focused around the Roger Pirates. These are Roger Pirates characters. And this is the first rendition of the uh, of these two characters with Nozudon and whatever the hell his name is. What's his name? Nozudon and Sambel. Yeah, that's the first rendition of those characters in One Piece Treasure Cruise. And a new Crocus, which is obviously really, really fun. However, the fact that they're Rumble Rare Recruits means that they're not going to be good in normal content, which is a bit uh, underwhelming. They are mainly focused around being used in Pirate Rumble. As we said, this banner is going to be debuting on February 3rd, and the banner is going to be pretty typical discount multi on the 1st. Guaranteed Rumble character with... Uh, well, it's not a guaranteed Rumble character. It's a guaranteed character with maxed Rumble special and Rumble passive. Don't get that twisted. The third one gets you a legend with level 5 Rumble abilities, which is honestly nothing. The amount that you have to invest into a character to get level 5 special, level 5 passive is like nothing. Uh, the fact that they do this is kind of like a slap in the face. It should just be, you know, just a guaranteed legend. It, this is not a very, very good effect. Um, anyways, uh, the Pirate Rumble uh, Sugo Fest character. So you, you, you're the first guaranteed Pirate Rumble character is on the fourth multi, which is already pretty steep. Recommended character on the fifth. And of course, it's going to cycle all the way to multi 13 with no additional steps past that. Um, there's no guaranteed step like to get one of the new characters guaranteed uh, These Pyre Rumble banners aren't banners for everybody and considering the fact that we are so so close to the global anniversary Which should be towards the end of February I think that it's a very wise decision once again to avoid this banner personally speaking I actually am going to avoid this banner I'm not going to be doing pulls and the main reason for that is is because these characters are dog shit. <laughs> I mean, to put it bluntly, these characters are not good. While I do think that they have their place, they're not going to be game changers for their teams that they're going to be part of. So I guess we'll discuss that as we go along here. Um, so we've got the Nozudon and Sambel character first, which I'm, I'm really excited that they actually decided to put these characters in the game first place. I, I like that they're doing that. It's just unfortunate that the character's really bad. So, Psy Fighter Powerhouse, it is surprising that he's not Free Spirit, actually. I thought they would have gone down the path of making all of the Roger Pirates Free Spirit related, but they didn't opt to do that. His captain is nothing special, a 3 times attack boost, 13 turn cooldown, 10% health cut, and a 1.75 Psy attack boost. So, yeah, again, nothing really too crazy there. Base attack boost to Psy characters. Then we have a look at his Rumble stuff. So his Rumble ability is going to provide fighter characters with level 6 attack and level 6 HP. <laughs> How many times have we seen that? Attack and HP, attack and HP, attack and HP. And it's fighter powerhouse, so he does synergize with the rest of the fighter powerhouse units, but why do they continue to give attack and HP? I don't understand it. After he receives damage up to 3 times, he gives himself level 2 attack buff fine right it, on paper it's usable the rumble ability is fine but then you look at the special 30 turn ct targets himself for provoke and defense up level 6 for 20 seconds so okay then your fighter characters receive 400 hp healing per interval at 30 second cooldown 
uh, 30 second timer should uh, should we say so <laughs> the fact that this character has a very offensive rumble ability giving attack and hp and every time he takes damage he gets increased attack and then you have a rumble special that does this on a 30 second cooldown this is gonna be one of the worst rumble specials we have seen from a rumble rare recruit considering when you take into account the fact that it's a really high cooldown and the rumble ability it was very offensively focused this makes no sense it almost feels like there's like an effect missing here like uh, some type of damage in some capacity i feel like is missing here um the fact that he doesn't do damage and that the defensive effect that he does provide is not good enough when you think about using this on a fighter team in rumble this is not going to help you that much it really isn't while as i said the rumble ability is going to help out your other fighters to hit harder then they have more hp this doesn't help this is not good uh, I, I really wouldn't suggest going out of your way to pull these units it's just not that exciting at all and his behavior he does have healing so again he's a very defensively focused character but if you're gonna make him a defensively focused character give him a defensive rumble ability fighter the fighter powerhouse squads are screaming out for more defensive rumble abilities characters that give defensive effects right there's not a lot of defense up in fighter powerhouse squads that would have been perfect for this guy if he gave level 5 health and like level 5 defense at a minimum and then did the uh, self attack buff like that would have been perfectly acceptable but yeah it just doesn't make sense he does target closest enemies he evades paralysis and 30 percent damage reduction against int I really don't understand what they were trying to do with this character. I don't get the like the point of this unit existing. It doesn't make sense. And especially coming off of King last month, and that character is absolutely busted. How do we go from 0 to 100 this quickly? I don't get it. So, Nozu Dawn and Sambel, a very underwhelming Rumble Rare Recruit. And also another thing to point out, that before this character, like we hadn't had a Psy Rumble Rare Recruit in like almost a year, I think. Um, or at least yeah, around a year or something like that. It's been ridiculously long and we finally get our new side rare recruits and it's that a little underwhelming Anyways, crocus is our next character now I will say crocus is definitely more usable in my opinion So crocus is a psi cerebral powerhouse once again, no free spirit representation Captain ability sucks captain uh, special ability paralysis reduction by two and a 1.75 color affinity to psi and four times his recovery is healed to the crew. It's kind of whatever, right? No, like, nothing too crazy here. Let's jump over to his rumble ability. So, Crocus is cerebral focus. Now, this is good. We've been waiting for another cerebral rumble rare recruit for quite a while now, especially with the introduction of the Film Red celebration, where we had a lot of those characters released, and you had Uta, who was really good for cerebral. You had Shanks, really good for cerebral. Um, Corazon and Law came out with cerebral focus. Legend Hina was cerebral focused. We needed some Rumble Rare Recruits to supplement these legends that we were getting. So it's good that we have this new unit. So he gives health up level 6, defense up level 5, and crit up level 5. This is a very good Rumble ability. Like HP and defense in one Rumble ability is so cracked. And the fact that when you think about it, this is going to be used on a Cerebral team. Like I can imagine this alongside Uta and Shanks and karen wanda potentially this has a lot of good implications for the cerebral squad moving on from that though his rumble special on a 25 ct cooldown targets the team for level 7 speed level 7 attack for 10 seconds so not really that long which is unfortunate then your cerebral class characters receive level 2 ct increase for 15 seconds and then provides paralysis reduction and damage over time reduction by 30 seconds so I'm not a big fan of that because removing paralysis doesn't actually matter that much. It's one of the worst debuffs in Pirate Rumble. Damage over time reduction is good, but the problem is, is the fact that there's not a lot of characters that actually inflict you with damage over time. So the debuff removal of that, it doesn't really make a lot of sense in terms of the meta of, of Pirate Rumble. But you have to look at this character as more of a supporter style unit as you can have him on the team that can give your crew speed and attack buff and a very minor um, special CT increase for your cerebral units. So I do think that there is a place for this unit to be used. Um, but I, do, I just think that you don't need to pull this unit, right? Like, Cerebral are not knocking down the door of the meta, um, and they're only missing one supporter Rumble Rare Recruit that's going to take him to the Promised Land. No, it's not quite like that. I do think this unit will be used in Cerebral teams, no doubt, 
I just don't think he's like amazing. And behavior pattern is okay, and he heals and damage reduction. So he doesn't actually have any resistances like that are actually useful. So that's a little underwhelming there. But that's Crocus and the Nozudon and uh, Sam Bell. So yeah, as, as I said, a very unfortunate Pipe Rumble release because while these characters, the characters themselves, seemed exciting at first, they didn't really follow up that well with their abilities. So it is, it is very underwhelming. And as I said, personally, I am going to be skipping this banner. Hopefully we get some really cool stuff uh, further on down the line. Really looking forward to seeing what the treasure map stuff is going to be like this month. Considering the theming that we got with the Whitebeard and Rayleigh Gaban batch and now this. I would have a feeling that the treasure map banner is probably going to be focusing around the Whitebeard Pirates. So we'll have to wait and see about that. But that's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I'm that, guys. I'll see you guys within the next video.